umpire Francis standing at the scoreboard end. Emperor comes into ball to Gunatilika to drive this mid off region. Misfielding there by Allett. That's going to take two runs for it. Madhugalle on 65. And this is hard and high there, and he's going to be caught. And David Gower taking the catch, a simple catch. Madhugalle having a rush of blood to his head. Played a careless stroke, and he is going caught by Gower of the bowling of Underwood, whose fifth wicket it is out for 65 and here is the action replay the ball held back a bit and Madhukal not getting into it properly locks it in there and David Gover moves it to position and takes the simplest of catches and the last man coming into that is accompanied by Maestro Mutilika, that's Ajit De Silva. As Underwood goes into ball to him now. Powerful Brian, he hits us hard and high and it's going to be four runs. Yes, four runs. Uh, Ajit De Silva giving him left hand as much a swing. 194 for nine. Ajit Silva off the mark in the first ball he faces with a lusty hit for four. Embry is still pick up a wicket. Embry bowls now to go to the wicket. This one he turns him down to fine leg. And Scooch chasing it there. Pick it up just inside the boundary. That's going to take two runs for it. And the total moves on to 196 for nine. The batsman out this morning, Ranjit Madhugalde, out for 65. Underwood with figures of 5 for 22. Bowls now to Gunatirika. Gunatirika pushes this in the covers. There's no one there. Going for one, they'll take a second. As it's picked up by both of them. Two runs more, takes it over to 199. And Gunatirika moves into double figures. He's on 10. going to take it once again facing up to Underwood and this one it tucks it away again and they go for a cheeky single as Fletcher picks up and returns to the ball is in as Gunatilika runs into Underwood and that's uh, 200 up 200 for 9 Sri Lanka Gunatilika on 11 Ajit Silva on 5 It looks like Fletcher has had enough of the tailenders toying with his spinners. And he steers that one down to third man. He may go for four. Yes. Here's Willis. And that goes off his shoulder. Willis turns around to appeal. Nasty blow. Nasty delivery. Willis certainly steaming in this morning. Now it's Botham being reintroduced into the attack. And they have taken the new ball. And he's out. Very simple catch to... No, the umpire hasn't given him out. The umpire hasn't given him out. Going off his wrist into the gully. It seems uh, uh, unusual to see numbers 10 and 11 being uh, uh, pulled at uh, with such uh, short pitch uh, bouncers. If you notice, uh, Mahesh Gunitilika also got a rather nasty one from Bob Willis in the previous over. And now, uh, not only has it been a bouncer, first delivery from both of them, but it is in fact uh, hurt Archie Silva's left wrist and this could have very serious consequences on his bowling and perhaps a bearing on the outcome of this match in fact. Bolton. To De Silva.
is a short ball. But uh, De Silva got himself into a bit of trouble himself there, I would say. The ball not really rising much above stump height. The ball being short, De Silva thought he should go underneath it. And eventually, he tried to sweat it down the leg side. Unable to get a touch. His bottom. And he's certainly digging it in. And I think umpire Felsinger telling him something. Yes, Felsinger undoubtedly had a word with Botham about the short pitch delivery on that occasion. Small Billy's bolster my is going to look and he's cut him, and this should be four runs. Yes, right over the top of second slip's head. Botham just makes a gesture as he jumps for it. Allard can't get across. Four more to Sri Lanka. When the last wicket fell at 190, Derek Underwood hitting against the spin and got a top edge, and the ball went up for David Gard to take a relatively simple catch from a mid-wicket position. There's Botham bowling, and he plays that one uppishly. Been a simple catch for a silly mid-off, had there been one. And the ball goes out to Paul Allard, fielding at mid-off. And that stroke prompts Keith Fletcher to make a field change. John Embury has moved into that position and still a bit off. And here comes Botham. Bowls to Ajit De Silva and he's behind that one. And he's gone, yes, he's caught. He's caught by John Embury and in that same position where he played the previous ball. It was short lifting and Ajit De Silva drawing away and then pushing his bat at it. He's caught by John Embury and the Sri Lankan inning has come to an end. Sri Lanka all out. 219 and let's watch the action replay. Very well taken, low down to his right and Sri Lanka all out for 218. It's a rather lovely morning for cricket. The entire ground is bathed in sunlight. As Demel moves in from the score box end. Played out into the covers there by Gooch. Picked up by Roy Dyess. Roy Dyess was the only Sri Lankan batsman to be out without scoring. Very unfortunate there. But he contributed to his own downfall, really. It's Demel in again. That's the first one. This should be four. A lovely drive by Gooch off the front foot. That ball pitched a shed outside the off stump. Nicely on the block hole. Gooch with that exaggerated bat lift and a lovely follow through. The ball screaming to the boundary between the gap there, into the, into the gap between cover point Dice and Midolf Guanapura. There's a large gap there. The field is three slips and a gully. Cover point, a wide bit off, mid on and square leg by the umpire. Timel's next delivery is coach on the back foot. Gently out on the onside, that's the end of Demel's over. The first over for Sri Lanka. Four runs off it. Four runs in one shot there. It's Wadnapura now to take up the attack from the press box end. Sri Lanka's captain. 
his first delivery. A full toss. And misfielded there, allowing the batsman to go through for a quick single. To continue the attack from the scorebox in will be Asante Dimel. Somehow I feel it won't be very long before we see the introduction of spinners. Probably five or six overs from either end. But it's Dimel to bowl his second over. Moving in from the scorebox end. Outside the off stop. But it's Dimel now in. Gooch didn't quite know much about that one. He tried to leave that ball outside the off stump, came back, struck the top of his bat, through the gully position, no third man. That's four runs. It's one Apura in. Cook carefully forward again, played out on the offside where Roy Dice completes the fielding. There's a slight adjustment in the field. One of the slips being taken out, that's Ranjan Madigala. And he has been moved to short square leg just by the umpire. And Ranathunga moved to the mid-wicket position. Ajit De Silva at mid-on. As Warnapura runs in for his next delivery. Bowls. Turned away on the onside. Picked up by Madhugala. End of Warnapura is over. That was the first maiden, first maiden of the morning from Sri Lanka. Dulek Pendis at first slip. Ranjan Madhugala second. And Siddharth Vettimuni third slip. Kaluperuma in the gully. Good ball, but driven forcefully off the front foot. This could be four runs. Being chased there down by the score box, but he can't get to it. That's four runs. Four runs to Gooch. Three men in the covers. Vettimuni at square cover, Das at extra cover. Here's the next ball. Hit down to long leg. That'll be four. Dimel can't get to it. Outside the leg stump. And Cook just turning it off his toes. That's Dimel there. Down on the square leg boundary. And certainly bowling leg theory at this in English opening pair will not pay off. They're both very strong on the leg side. And they'll be quite happy. There's another one down the leg side. Kuntilaka doesn't collect. The ball keeping very low. And the difference in pace between the Sri Lankan opening attack and the English is so apparent that one finds it very difficult to even compare. Here's Varnapura. Gentle pace. Outside the leg stump. De Silva, you may notice when he comes into the picture at mid-on, having his left arm strapped after he got struck. And that one's back cut between slip and gully, going down to the third man boundary, and Vettimuni can't get it. And Varnapura straying a bit outside the leg stump and outside the off stump, being punished in this over. Eight runs coming in this over. 34 now without loss with Graham Gooch and 21, Jeff Cook and 11. We saw DS De Silva operating from the press box in, and it's again Asante de Mel continuing from the. And he's caught. <laughs> caught there as Cook steered that straight into Malik Kalipurma's hand. The first England wicket falling with a score at 34. Jeff Cook in his debut for England out caught by the guy of Gordon Asante de Mel for, for 11 and the first England wicket falling with the score at 34 and here is the action replay Cook waiting for 
Ricky Merritt come in. Old spun. Shot of length out to the Austin and steered there straight into the waiting hands of Carlo Pedro Matt Gully. It takes a good catch. So one wicket down now. England for 34. That's now Jeff Cook. Caught Carlo Pedro Bold. Demel for 11. And the batsman come in for the first wicket, Chris Tabaray, permanent members of the team. Chris Tabaray still to face the first ball and Demel now bowling to three, slips two gullies. And it's Demel to Tabaray, bowls first ball. And this one, lifting the way, Tabaray at full height. Dabs down to Califerma, one of the two gullies. No run. 34 for one England. First with the fall of Jeff Cook for 11. So the honour of taking the first wicket in, in official test cricket going to Asante de Mera. Taking the wicket of Jeff Cook who was making his first appearance in for England, winning his test cap. Up some good performances here in Sri Lanka and even in India. Change the field as Ranatunga is taken across from the lake side and put into the Sidibid off position. The Mel Bowls. Tabre. The second England wicket falling. Chris Tabre. Gold second ball by Asanta de Mel. Tabre playing over it. And a clean ball for no score. So England now 34 for two. So here is the action replay. Demel coming in over the wicket. Tabaret waits for him. Goes for it. Plays over it. And is bold. Pity that's Gooch covering him up. And Demel now taken two wickets for 15 runs. And here he is. This is about bowling. And that one goes outside his bat as in fact it's the it's the one that spun the other way, the googly. And there's a good ball there from DS Silva. Gar playing for the leg break, beaten and very lucky not to have touched it. DS Silva using all his experience and guile as he comes in now, tossing the ball from hand to hand, turns, moves in. Flight it again, and uh, Gar pushing it on the onside of the wicket, back to the bowler, and that's the end of a good over from D.S. Silva. Timel, a fine all-rounder, a very useful batsman, an extremely safe fielder, and a great-hearted bowler as he comes now, running towards us. Bowling to Gooch. And Gooch attempts to play it off. Is it given out LBW? He's been given out LBW. And Gooch waiting at the wicket and then turns round. Walks away very slowly indeed. Asanta Di Mel. Let's watch the action replay. a full pitch into the into Gucci's pads as he attempts to play through mid wicket he misses the ball it hits him on his rear leg and there's Demel going up in jubilant and umpire Francis has no hesitation in giving Gucci out LBW and, and there you see Gucci waiting even after the decision was given and he walks back very very slowly indeed to the pavilion and England have lost their third wicket for 40, and Dimmel has taken all three wickets. The man coming into the picture is the England captain, Keith Fletcher. And here he is. Racing in from the scoreboard end and bowling to Fletcher, and Fletcher plays this one off his toes. A very nice stroke, that'll be four runs. Ranatunga gives up the chase as the ball, ball goes down into the Nesta Mall that holding just on the left of the smaller scoreboard. And that takes 
the England total up to 44 for three and Fletcher is off the mark with four. So there's, we've had an after morning of very exciting cricket. Sri Lanka starting at 183 for eight, losing Madhugalda fairly early, and then that li lion-hearted last wicket stand of 28 runs between Ajit Silva and Mahesh Kutitilaka. England making a comfortable start and then losing three wickets in the last six runs. And here's Demel bowling, a bouncer to Fletcher who goes underneath it. There's no danger whatsoever. And uh, Mahesh Kutitilaka collects behind the stumps. Demel bowling like a man, greatly inspired. And bowling very well indeed. He started uh, uh, somewhat indifferently, allowing a lot of his deliveries to go by unplayed by the batsman. And uh, just as we were talking about it, he suddenly struck a line. And since then, he's bowled magnificently. Here he is. Also Fletcher. And Fletcher! Is oh, he's dropped him! He's dropped him! De Silva got a hand to that ball and as he fell over the, the impact probably knocked it out and let's watch the action replay an unfortunate miss indeed as Fletcher just about yes a definite chance very unfortunately DS Silva couldn't hold on to it and Fletcher lives to play another inning. And this time he plays that one more correctly. The yes, Silva fields on the end of another fine over from Asanta De Mel. De Silva not quite finding the line that he would like to. Trying to pitch the ball. <coughs> Excuse me. Trying to pitch the ball into the rough created by Willison Botham. And now, of course, Demel bowling into that same rough as well. <coughs> Slip, silly point, and forward short leg close to the bat. Rana Singha, the forward short leg in a helmet on the field instead of Ranjan Madhugalla. The end of DS is over. Four runs coming in that over. 53 for three. Mm. And that bouncer wasn't all that high. Fletcher having to go down about bail high to let it go through. And Demel certainly giving Fletcher treatment. And Fletcher indicating there that there is a certain amount of variable bounce in the wicket. Will not be able to judge that. And a good ball there. Cutting sharply across the batsman. Starting about middle stump and moving away down the leg side. Fletcher moving inside the line. Doesn't get a touch as it went through to Kunathilika in the end of uh, the maiden over. Here's DS De Silva's next delivery. And he's very fortunate indeed with that. This one nicely off his pad, square on the onside. It's a long chase down there. It's gone for four. Guy in double figures on 13. And still we have that cordon of slip fielders, three in a gully. A cover and a wide mid-off. And here's Demel to David Gar. And he swings this one round down to this square leg boundary, and it's six. 
He picked that one very well indeed and hit him out of the ground for six. David Gar 19 and England 64 for three. The rough into which Underwood was pitching and getting so much turn is outside the line of the right-hander's leg stump but could be quite dangerous for the left-hander. Here comes D.S. Silva and bowls to Fletcher. And Fletcher plays this one square on the onside. Dimmel is round to field. They get one. 65 for three. And Fletcher moves up to nine. The 18th over being bowled. David Gar in strike. And on drives this one. There's one run in it. It's one for us throw. Hits T.S. Silva on the bottom of his leg, having hit the stumps first. And Dimmel turns and comes in. To bowl to Gar. Short and Gar on the back foot hits him through the offside field. Four runs. As he comes in. And bowls. Cover gets behind that one, pushes on the offside, and they go through for a single, which takes him up to 24. Comes in. Bowls and Fletcher plays this one off his pass, just turning it round the corner. Down to Asanta Dimel. And they get two. 74 for three, Sri Lanka. As England, in reply to Sri Lanka, score of 218. And Fletcher on 12, waits for the next delivery from Dias Silva. Outside the off stump, he's not interested. Put it like a collects. I see part of the covered accommodation. Carlo Perama bowling from the score box end to the left-handed Gower. Has him in a bit of trouble there, watching the ball on the back foot, playing it gently out on the offside. Gower has not been very comfortable against spinners early in his career. He was helped by Ray Illingworth and Jackie Birkinshaw of Leicestershire to get over his early troubles as he faces the next delivery from Kaluperma, driving that on the offside, they get one run there. Misfielding there by Ajit De Silva, giving the batsman two runs. That was not a good ball, short outside the off stump, and Fletcher had plenty of time to get on his back foot. De Silva in a game. Turn round the corner, there's an easy single there for Fletcher. England 79 for three. The crowd, not very many more than yesterday, perhaps around the 11,000 mark. Plenty of seats still available. But of course, being a working day, one has to expect some empty seats. So next ball is turned away on the onside. This runs in this for Fletcher. Taken one, they've turned for the second. They'll be looking for three here, but decide against it. As Wetimuri was quickly onto the ball. Two runs to Fletcher. Takes the England captain on to 17. Carlo Perma right arm off spin, bowling over the wicket from the score box end. That was a very optimistic shout from Carlo Perma. I know Fletcher didn't offer a shot, but that was way outside the off stump. That's Carlo Perma's next delivery. And he beats him, going past the outside edge of Fletcher's bat. Lucky not to have touched it. And that ball not turning as much as the England skipper expected it to. And Gurutha Lika collects.
Kale Pirima to Fletcher. Fletcher drives on the onside of the wicket. Kale Pirima feels well. There's a slip and a sh very short square leg. The two men in catching position as Kale Pirima's next delivery to Fletcher. Fletcher back cuts. Apishly, but effectively down to third man for four. And it will be Ajit Silva pulling from the press box end. It pulls to Fletcher who turns the way down to fine leg. Ajit to Silva once again to Fletcher. Well flighted delivery again. Fletcher watching the ball right up to his bat. Tucks it away gently on the offside again. My husband Fidika running from behind the stumps. Fields. No run. 94 for three. Uh, Ajit to Silva moves in to go to Fletcher. Shot of length and Fletcher steers this down and covers. The chase for run and through off one, they'll take a second as one of them picks up and returns. Two more of the total, takes it out of 96 for three. Batsman out, Booch for 22, Cook for 11, and Tavare without scoring. And it's once again Kaliterma to bowl to Gava. Gava on the back foot, cuts him back, cuts him very nicely. They're one of them having a long chase there. They might pick it up just inside the boundary. Yes, he does. But the batsman get three runs for it. Total moving on to 99 for three as Gava moves on to 31. 99. Fletcher and Gava. Fletcher lucky to have been dropped when he was four. Here's Kalperma. Pushed away past Rana Singh who can't get hold of it. They get a single for it. Roy Dias is after it at the turn for the second. So two runs. A good return from Dias. Two runs for the total. Takes the score on to 101. Fletcher moves on to 32. The 100 coming up in 135 minutes of batting time in the 33rd over. De Silva again. Well flighted delivery. Played defensively by Fletcher. The end of the over. Just a one run coming in that over. The Silva's figures now. Four overs, none for six. Kaluperma. And he drives that one again. And Ranatunga running across Das. Doesn't field. Causes Das to lose sight of the ball for that second. Miss fields as a result. And they get a single. 103 for 3, 33 to Gawa, 32 to Fletcher. Field changing over for the right-handed batsman. Mendis occupying slip while Kalu Perma bowls. Kalu Perma op occupying slip when anybody else bowls. Here he is running towards us. And that one kept low, but he plays it very well indeed, picking the gap. Between cover and extra cover, that'll be four. Diaz de Silva can't get to it. And here's Fletcher settling down to face up to Ajit Silva. Who's given away seven runs in his five overs so far. Bowling to a slip, a silly mid off. A backward short leg. Play to the ball and he's beats him off the wicket there. Rather vain appeal. Which umpire Felsinger doesn't respond to. Score remains 114 for three. Fletcher dropped at four, now on 39. This ball again flight in. And there is an appeal for a catch behind the stumps. De Silva attempting to hit that rough there, caused by Willis and Botham. It's Fletcher on 39. Waits for forward and there's Mahesh Gunathirika very active behind the stumps coming around and picking up. The score remains 114 for three. These batsmen adding 74 runs for this fourth wicket. 
Hamilton. Aj to Silva again to Fletcher and he sweeps this round, gets it on the pad. Runner singer at back for short leg, picks up, prevents any runs being scored. Once again, Ajit Silva from the press box end, that's the southern ground, flights this one, played firm covers by Fletcher. With two runs for it. And the score moves on to 116 for three. Sixteen for three. Fletcher moving on to forty-one as he faces up now to Ajit Silva. This one full toss sent down to mid-off. That's will go through for an easy single. That's runner from the fields. One more total takes it on to one hundred and seventeen for three. Fletcher on forty-two. Waits once again for Diaz de Silva to come into ball to him. This one slightly over pitch, turned away off his toes down to. Ranathunga fielding at long leg. That's what go for an easy single. The total goes on to 118 for three. And Fletcher moves on to 42. <laughs> Press box full of foreign and local correspondents, very busy reporting for their respective presses. And there is the president of Sri Lanka Board of Control for Cricket. Honorable Garmin Disnayaka, also a very interesting man. That ball turned away by Fletcher and turned it straight into Sinatra from his hands. Wonderful his hands. It's wonderful his hands. And the fourth wicket has fallen. That of Keith Fletcher, caught by Badnapura at square leg of the bowling of Ajit Silva. And England is now 120 for four. And Fletcher going back, caught Badnapura, bowled Ajit Silva for 45. And England 120 for four. to bat with Jason Fletcher with the very popular player Ian Botham, the Mercury all-rounder who has done so much both with bat and ball for England. And Ajit turns, comes in and bowls to Botham and Botham drives handsomely through extra cover for four. Always over pitched, and this very strong man just leading into that ball. Did four runs from the time it left the bat 124, and that opens Botham's account. He's on four, David Carr 37. The 42nd over of England's innings being bowled, and Ajit's next delivery flighted, and Botham's lofted him <laughs> over mid wicket for four more. Forward defensively. Mahesh Kuntilaka coming a long way down the wicket to pick that ball up and hands it to Ajit Silva. A very active, alert, and energetic keeper, Mahesh Kuntilaka. Ajit Silva bowls and both them plays that one to mid wicket and there's no run. drives and Ranathaka can't stop it. It goes past his outstretched right hand down to third man. They'll get two easily as Ranathunga's throw comes in into the wicket keeper's gloves. A good throw. And that's 130 for England, 130 for four. Coincidentally, Sri Lanka were also 130 for four. Mr. Silva. Round the wicket to the left hander. Comes down the wicket, drives firmly. So much under does his own fielding. Slip. Alit Kalapura, my hands on hips. 
Anathilka crouching behind the stumps. De Silva bowling. Wraps him on the pad. Ball spins away into slip. And 15 minutes play since T for just four runs. The one beautiful shot through the onside by Kava. Off DS. Goes back and tries to cut. Very lucky not to get a touch. Outside the off stump. 134 for four. The last two recognized batsmen in England side at the wicket. Sports and baits for the silver and this one. Overpitched on the leg side and gets on the pad and runs down to back of square leg. The men come in and bottom. Leaning on his back, completely unconcerned, proud, not too happy with Bottom's performance so far. Once again, Diaz de Silva from the scoreboard end. And Gawa sweeps this round to find back with the square leg. Fielded there by Retimony, just inside the boundary line. Two runs for it. Takes the total to 130, 136 for four. Gabba moves on to 45. Two runs coming after six overs, and here's Dest Silver once again to Gabba, who swings his way down to square leg. Once again, it's Wetamuni there, as they get a single for it. 137 for four. His 18th over. You know, take a none for 28. And on the back foot, and this one is crack at very hard and four runs. Bottom waits for DS Silva to come in, bowls. Bottom digs this one out. They go through for a cheeky single, but get it quite comfortably. As Tulip Mendes comes in the fields, one more to score, takes it out of 144. For four and Bottom goes on to 13. Just Silva. Waits as cover settles down. This one flighted and steered down in the wake and Gali region, there's a long chase for Ranathunga, the batsman get one, they'll turn for a second as Ranathunga picks it up just inside and they go through for three runs, three runs to Gava, that's his 50, he's in 51, I'll give the details of his innings in a moment, 51 to Gava and the score now 147 for four. That's a nice shot from Gar off his hips, this could be four, yes, it's four runs to the mid-wicket fence, that was a typical David Gower shot, there was no force in it at all, he merely leant into that ball and caressed it to the boundary, four runs, takes Gower on to 55, both them on 13 and the total 151 for four. Full toss. Gaia moving up to that ball, takes it on the full and hits it hard into the extra cover region where Diaz de Silva completes the fielding. And as you come back, uh, we have to announce a fall of Ian Botham's wicket. Ian Botham received a shot. That's, let's look at the replay. That's Demel's delivery. Short, Botham on the back foot, trying to turn that away to the onside getting a thick inside edge onto his stumps and he's bowled. Bowled by Demel, that's the prize wicket for Sri Lanka. That's the breakthrough Sri Lanka needed in this session of play. 151 for five. And the tail is now exposed. The new batsman. Brother, brother, brother. 
Next delivery from De Mel. Played carefully out on the onside. Bob Taylor, the England wicketkeeper. And here's De Mel. Two slips Scully, the and then two men round the corner on the onside. And he bowls to Taylor, who plays this one very nicely indeed, square to the crease. And it's a long chase for Siddharth Vettimuni. As he catches it now, the batsman will get three comfortably. And uh, when he tried to revert to normal, it was perhaps too late for him. And here's Demel bowling, and Gar plays that one off with the off the outside edge of his bat between gully and cover. Arjun Ranthunga gives up the chase as the ball goes into the boundary now for four. This is interesting cricket here with the pressure really being put on Bob Taylor. Three men in front, on the, uh, three men in close catching position on the off, and an equal number on the on side of the wicket. And his next delivery to Bob Taylor. He sweeps and it's four. A hundred and sixty-five for five at the end of Ajit Silva's over. Demel turns to the top of his run. Gathers momentum. Comes in. Bowls to cover. And cover places one off his toes. That's four runs between square leg and long leg. One hundred and seventy-seven for five. Here comes Demel. Bowls to Gava. And Gava plays again off his pads down to almost the same position but uh, with little less power. And that's flicked back. And it's a long return coming in as the batsman completes three. Archie De Silva retrieving the ball. And uh, David Gar now goes up to 70 and England to 174 for five. As De Silva bowling over the wicket. Balls to cover. This one wills outside the leg stump and cover sweeps it round to the fine leg boundary for four runs. A bad ball from Diaz de Silva. Loose delivery which smacked away down to fine leg for four runs by Gava. The score goes up to 186 and Gava goes on to 79. The scoreboard clock showing five minutes past five o'clock, so this probably is the last over of the day. Tomorrow, of course, is a rest day and play resumes on Saturday at 10.30. This ball played down again to be done, down to Dulek Mendes. The end of Ajit De Silva is over. The end of play for the second day of this five-day test. England closing on 108.